we have two capacitors. One is CS, and the other one is CB. The initial voltage level of CS is VS, and CB is VB. We now close the switches, so that the charge is shared between the two capacitors. The voltage level of the two capacitors are the same. We can describe the voltage level with VS and VB. Because of the charge conservation law, the total number of charge will not be changed. For example, if CS is 5 femtofarad, CB is 20 femtofarad. And the voltage level of CS is 1 volt, and CB is 0.5 volt. Now, if we close the switch, the final voltage level will be 0.6 volt. We have another example. We still have the same capacitance for the CS and CB. But now, the voltage level of CS is 0 volt, while the voltage level of CB is 0.5 volt. Then, the final voltage level will be 0.4 volt. DRAM make use of this phenomenon. A and MOS transistor, named access transistor, play the role of switch. The gate is connected to word line, and the drain connected to bit line. This is the basic structure of DRAM cell. And there are several voltage level related with DRAM cell. First, the word line turn on voltage level, named VPP, is 2.9 volt. And the word line turn off voltage level, called VNWL, is negative 0.3 volt. The bit line precharge voltage level, called VBLP, is 0.5 volt. The voltage level of the cell plate of the storage capacitor, called VCP, is 0.5 volt. And the VDD level of DDR4 is 1.2 volt. And the VRA is 1.0 volt. Most of the bit line capacitance, CB, consisted with the junction capacitance of the access transistors. To have a bigger value after the charge sharing, the bigger CS and smaller CB is preferred. But, we also wish to have a smaller chip size. So, we have to negotiate with the chip size and CS, CB. The CS of modern DRAM is around 5 femtofarad. To have a reasonable charge sharing result, the cell per bit line is important. As the DRAM technology evolved, the cell per bit line increased. 